Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Vivian Powell. Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Tun Razak hopes the 54th Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Conference will be a platform for parliamentarians to look for solutions on global issues. Uh, harapan saya persidangan ini uh, dapat dijadikan sebagai satu forum yang uh, dapat uh, mengupas, membincang dan uh, mungkin membuat beberapa kesimpulan ataupun syur berhubung dengan permasalahan yang sedang dihadapi uh, oleh dunia terutama, terutama sekali dari aspek uh, uh, kenaikan harga makanan dan uh, harga minyak dan bagaimana uh, kita boleh menangani uh, perubahan struktur dalam negara di mana tekanan uh, dari segi proses urbanisation semakin ketara. He said this Tuesday in a press conference after representing Prime Minister Datuk Seri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi to officiate the 10-day conference hosted by Malaysia. More than 350 delegates are expected to attend this conference. The Barisan National Supreme Council will decide Wednesday on the fate of the rebellious Sabah Progressive Party. One leader whose position will be in jeopardy if SAPP is sacked or suspended is Deputy Chief Minister Datuk Raymond Tan, the party's deputy president who opposes the no-confidence motion. Several other SAPP leaders also hold various positions in government agencies which could be affected if the party is sacked. SAPP, led by Datuk Yong Teck Lee, is sticking to its no-confidence move against Prime Minister Datuk Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi and Yong made it clear that there is no change in the party position since its public declaration on June 18. The public by-election, sorry, the by-election in Pematang Power, which will see PKR advisor Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim contesting, will be a costly affair. Home Minister Datuk Seri Syed Hamid Alba said there were both direct and indirect costs involved in ensuring that the whole democratic process was run efficiently and peacefully. He, however, declined to give the number of personnel expected to be deployed for the by-election or the cost involved. On suggestions by various AMNO members and pass for Barisa National not to run against Anwar, Syed Hamid said this was for the coalition leadership to decide. AMNO Deputy President Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak has refused to comment about an anti-corruption agency report against him and the party president Datuk Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi. Earlier, AMNO veteran Datuk Mazlan Harun had lodged an ACA report on the two leaders for alleged abuse of power. The former AMNO youth exco claimed that Abdullah and Najib had allegedly misused government machinery to get support from party members to retain their position in the coming party elections. The complaint was based on a letter by Amno Pataling Jaya Salatan Division Chief Datuk Zaha Hashim, which was addressed to the party secretary general. Malaysian and Thai police will cooperate to stem the rising tide of cybercrime. Inspector General of Police Tan Sri Musa Hassan said the two countries would share intelligence to get more information and identify the groups involved in internet-related scams as well as their modus operandi. At the meeting, Malaysia and Thailand also agreed to enhance cooperation and map out new strategies to tackle transnational crime. Musa said this at a media conference at the end of the two-day 19th Departmental Review of the Joint Malaysia-Thailand Working Committee on Criminal Activities. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Vivian Pal. Thanks for watching.